<laughs> Obviously, for those of you wondering, as we said last night, John is out in Los Angeles right now getting for, uh, ready for the Grammys. Grammyland. Nominated for 11 Grammys 11 this year. 11 Grammys. It takes a while to get all prepped for that. That boy been working. Yeah. Do we know, has he, has he won any yet? Has he won any of them yet? I think he's about two up and two up? Oh, really? No. No, okay. <laughs> you lied to me, Lewis. I, you lied. Sorry. Lewis, I hold in my hand, uh, we got two fantastic guests tonight. Uh, Hannah Gadsby, fantastic yeah. stand-up comedian. Yeah. And of course, the author and friend of Nanette, yep, Emmy right. Peabody winner, and uh, the wonderful, the talented Sandra Bullock Ooh. will be on the show tonight Ooh. Ooh. to take the Colbert questionnaire. Brave woman. Now, folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend a lot of time right over there, patiently and astutely scrutinizing the boxwood and mahogany chess set of the day's biggest stories, developing the central headline pawns, deftly maneuvering an oh-so-topical knight to F6, feigning a classic Sicilian Nador variation on the news, all the while seeing eight moves deep and patiently marshalling the latest press releases into a fisher chosen Lipnitsky attack that culminates in the elegant, lethal, slow-played en passant checkmate that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I... Sometimes I startle awake upside down on the monkey bars of a condemned playground on a super fun site, get all hepped up on goofballs, rummage through a discarded tag bag of defective toys, yank out a fistful of disembodied doll limbs, toss them on a stained kid's placemat from a defunct Denny's, set up a table inside a rusty cargo container down by the wharf, and challenge toothless drifters to the godless bug house blitz of tournament that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile, meanwhile, it's it's opiate of the masses. Meanwhile, a foot tickling machine has revealed which parts of the feet make men and women giggle the most. Actual professionals built an actual foot tickling machine and named it Ticklefoot. Also, the name of the bootleg Chinese Tickle Me Elmo. So what did Ticklefoot discover? Turns out, for women, the most ticklish is by the center of the arch, and for men, it's slightly closer to the toes. That's great. Hey, scientists, while I have you, how's that cancer cure coming? <laughs> no, by all means, do not rush the whole foot tickling thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Venice, the splash mountain of Italy, <laughs> tourists are being supplied with water pistols at some luxury hotels to ward off aggressive seagulls. <laughs> It's got to be a weird check-in at one of those fancy hotels. Bienvenuti. Here are your room keys, your water pistols for the angry seagulls. Here are the machetes for the particularly large raccoons. Nature is trying to reclaim what is rightfully hers. Enjoy your stay. Here's what's going on. The city's bird population is getting so bold, they've started to swoop down to steal food out of unsuspecting visitors' hands as they dine on hotel terraces. Explains why Venetian restaurant menus now say, today's specials, whatever our seagull overlords deem unworthy of their ravenous beaks. But some are asking for more permanent solutions, like the president of the Venice Hoteliers Association, who argue that birds of prey could be the answer. Of course, that's how the formula always works. First, you get birds of prey to deal with the seagulls. Then, obviously, when the birds of prey get out of hand, you bring in the baboons. And when the baboons take over St. Mark's Square, just bring in the tigers. And from then on, it's Tiger Town. <laughs> Problema risorto. <laughs> Meanwhile, Canada has qualified for its first FIFA World Cup <laughs> in 36 years. They've done it. Canada, FIFA, soccer. They've scientifically engineered a headline impossible for me to care about. <laughs> Meanwhile, Scientists have found microplastics in people's blood for the first time. So note to self, when disposing of large amounts of blood, remember to separate it into the right bins. <laughs> Meanwhile, in tooth music news, a man protested his dentist with a guitar solo outside the dental office. Take a look. Oh, very rock and roll. But not unprecedented. He'll never match the raw sexuality of when Led Zeppelin did this. Don't go to 
to the supercats on Franklin and Main. They don't wash your hair first. When we come back, I give the Colbert questionnaire to Sandra Bullock. <laughs> 